James Hughes, Chief Market Analyst here at Scope Markets, and this is your daily briefing. Stocks on Wall Street closed lower on Monday, which is followed by falls across the board in Asia as Dow Jones confirmed its worst quarter in its 125-year history. The Dow fell by 410 points, while the S&P also fell as the US markets had looked positive earlier on in the session, but ended up limping into Q2. It was the worsening American coronavirus figures that were the catalyst for the downside on Wall Street after President Trump warned in his press conference of a painful two weeks ahead. The US are trying to get the virus outbreak under control, but New York City death toll has now topped 1,000. New York is seen as the epicenter of the outbreak in the United States. Stocks overnight in Japan fell by almost 5% after two of the biggest financial institutions announced that they would be cutting their final year dividends due to uncertainty around the virus. Both Standard Chartered and HSBC had expected some sort of announcement, but the cut of a dividend will be seen as a big hit to their share price. However, it wasn't all negative in Asia as the second round of Chinese manufacturing data beat expectations yet again, showing that the manufacturing sector was starting to rebound in March. Remember, China is ahead of the rest of the world in dealing with the coronavirus outbreak, and so the majority of their lockdown took place throughout January and February, leaving March to show recovery figures. Oil prices remain depressed, teetering around the $20 a barrel level. Further weakness would see those commodity-based currencies, such as the Australian dollar and Canadian dollar, come under pressure. Oil remains a key battleground within the coronavirus outbreak due to the lack of demand really hitting prices. In the next couple of weeks, we will see the start of earnings season in the US. And with stock uh, with valuations on stocks so incredibly low at the moment, this is enticing some investors to buy what are seen as cheap companies and cheap stock at the moment. However, such is the uncertainty seen around this virus that the unknown quantity of the coronavirus outbreak and no definitive end date means we certainly shouldn't rule out any more downside to come on these major markets as we start the second quarter of 2020.